before we jump into the video, I want to share with you guys something really cool, something that you can help support the channel. We have partnered with DH Labs. They're revolutionizing the way we see ball cups. Just look how fun this is. What I like about it is if, let's say, someone put your ball down like this, you don't have to like, you know, mess around with it trying to find the holes. You can just easily go like this and you're ready to bowl. Another great thing is they have a bunch of different colors and different products so that way you can always match your ball cup to your outfit because we all know that you bowl better when you match. And they are very hard to break. Can't break it. You can also use them for roller skating, but I don't recommend that, so don't do that. Check out the link in the description and help support the channel and check out all the cool products that they have on their website. And let us know when you get it, show us. Send us a video and we wanna see which color you chose. Let's get into today's video. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to do this comparison for you guys today. It is a comparison between one of my favorite rotor grip balls that I've already thrown. So I pretty much know where I would like to play with this ball and what I like to see. And I'm going to compare it to the new Black Widow 3.0. So this should be a pretty cool comparison because I already know what the Magic Gem gives me in terms of ball reaction. And we'll see how this compares and we'll see if I like it better or they're the same. I'm gonna go back and forth between the two and kind of just adjust and see what ball reaction we get out of them throughout the game. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go with the Magic Gem because I have thrown this a little bit. So I have an idea of what the shape is in my eyes. I'm just gonna stand on 25. I'm bowling on a house shot. It's a little bit broken down, but not too much. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, I sent that right. It's gonna hook and give me the good old five into the seven. We know we love that on this channel. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. We're gonna see if I can throw the Widow out there and see if it still comes back and hooks like that. All right, I'm doing the same thing, standing on 25, and I'm gonna try to miss right. Okay, that wasn't as far right. Okay, but we got the trip four. I got that in a little bit. Next one, we're gonna try to throw it a bit right. Okay, got it out there and came back. A little bit weaker, a little bit smoother than the Magic Gem. All right, we're back with the Magic Gem. Stand in the same spot. I'm gonna try to just keep it in a little bit closer to my break point. I'm not trying to throw it as far right into the friction. That was where I wanted it. Okay, held, same reaction. Based on that reaction, I kind of know with Storm, that means I need to get it further into the oil a little bit longer. So I'm gonna move a little bit more to the left so it can be in the oil a little bit longer and store a little bit more energy. That should be better. Yeah, Storm shapes tend to need a little bit more oil to retain that energy, which is great. So you can always move left off of that and be in the oil. But we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna throw the Black Widow in the same spot and see if I get the same reaction. pretty similar all right that was actually where I wanted it it was a little bit earlier than the magic gem but still pretty good reaction we know all bowling balls like to hook when there's oil and friction but now we're gonna move a little bit further right I'm gonna try to bump my speed up a little bit send it closer to the friction early and see what reaction we get okay got there Smooth, rolled off of it, picked up a little bit before the rangefinder, but all in all, it was really good. All right, we're doing the same thing with the Magic Gem. Okay, I tug that in. Okay, that actually held. We're gonna ignore the fact that I tugged that, but that's actually pretty good. It held, stayed there, didn't overreact. We're doing the same shot, but we're not gonna throw it as bad. Okay, keep my shoulders open. Okay, got it to the friction. So even though the Magic Gem is a hybrid and the 3.0 is a solid, the Magic Gem is gonna hook a little bit more just because of the differentials. There's nothing really in the Storm line that's exactly comparable to the differentials that is in the Gas Mask Core, but they're pretty close. Hard 
right, we're gonna jump in a little bit more than we were earlier, and we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. Gave me a little bit more length than the last shot with the 3.0, not as early. Overall, I do like the reactions of both. Again, it's kind of like you saw in the hazmat versus the sublime. They're they're good for different things. Now these are not as close as those two, but they're definitely both pieces that I'm gonna keep in my bag. <laughs> 